Hello everyone, Ohio Backroads here. Uh, I've been out here in my uh, barn working on my motorcycle stealth camping um, ability. I have learned a lot. I am new to it. I have learned a lot from my mistakes, but also I'm being mentored by people that has traveled long and far. One of my friends, Eric, who has traveled the Blue Ridge, or traveled the uh, Appalachian Trail from the beginning to end on foot, nonstop, six months, has really taught me a lot about weight. Whether you're riding a powered vehicle, motorcycle, or carrying it on your back, ounces matter. And that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to sharpen my game up here to get a little better about weight. I have overpacked in the past, especially when I went to Utah, going over the Rockies. I really paid the price. Uh, I was too heavy. They sell things in other states. You don't need to carry it all with you. I'm taking each of these boxes, and I'm, I'm shaving ounces, ounces. I have cut my toothbrush in half. I have cut uh, toiletries in half, whether it's wet wipes or whatever I need. Even my packs of the, of the tuna that I carry, I'm going to carry half. I will purchase it. Weight is everything. And I want to be stealthy. I'm on a stealth camp. I got an up-and-coming trip to the Virginia, North Carolina, and I want to be as stealthy as I can. My tent set up, very basic tent. I'm going to black out these uh, colors here. I've used this tent all season. It's been in a lot of states. Uh, the thing is, I have been out here in my barn at night practicing with no lights on. I'm at the point now where I can set this tent up completely in the dark with no lights. I can, I can fill my poles out. I know the tent. I can set this tent up in the dark. And once again, I'm just trying to get rid of weight. I've cut my toothbrush in half. Toiletries. Everywhere I can sa uh, shave ounces off my setup, I'm doing that. Even though the Versus is a light bike, weight is everything. I want to be as mobile and as light as possible. And the one thing I'm not going to cut back on is water. Uh, I'm going to continue to carry actually more water. I have come up short on water. Water's a problem. But I'm going to be carrying an algae bottle and a water filter now. So I've added, you know, maybe a pound with, a, with an algae bottle and uh, the filter. I'm going to have a water filter and a bottle. I will filter my own water if the area or the, 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 the water looks appropriate to filter or to ster UV sterilize. But again, I'm just throwing this out here, everybody, just talking. I'm a rookie. I'm a newbie, and I'm learning from my mistakes. So anybody, please comment on this. Let me know. Hey, what do I need to do? I'm, I've cut my wrenches in half. My toolkit, there are certain tools I carry. I can service my front wheel, back wheel. I'm carrying a chain breaker, uh, master links. I have sold... My chain breaker, that the uh, metal handles off my chain breaker, I've sawed it in half, but I can clamp onto it with a vice grips. Hopefully, I don't need to use a chain breaker, but you know, I don't want to be struggling. I, I've got, I've got a little air pump. I, if I add something to the bike, I'm taking away from the bike. So, and again, I'm looking at ounces. So, I just want to be as mobile and as light as possible. Uh, I am not going to carry a sleeping pad no more. I got this little light pad here. Yeah, I would like a heavier air mattress, but that means I got to carry some type of pump plus an air mattress. I'm shaving ounces, ounces. Every bit of weight I can save, I can't, I'm going to. So, and again, you know, this is, this is a rookie talking. I, I do not know what I'm doing, but I have friends that have traveled far. And the one buddy walked the Appalachian Trail from the beginning and ended up in the White Mountains. He has told me what it takes to get it done. And I've taken key takeaways from him and applied it to my uh, motorcycle. And I've learned a lot. Uh, I've learned a lot. There's still more to learn. I'm learning. And uh, once again, I just want to be as light as possible. I may have to get this motorcycle under bridges, up trails, everywhere I can get it. I'm willing to do that. I'm going to be as stealthy and as light as I can. Weight is everything. And that's something that it took me to the end of the season to realize. 
as I'm shedding weight, the difference that it makes. Uh, I just had a recent, the last trip I took was the, uh, I went down and rode the Blue Ridge Parkway. I, I did a, I did an iron butt that day. I rode a thousand miles that day. And you wouldn't think a few pounds makes a difference jolting this bike around, leaning it up, standing it, getting it off into camping spots. Now I did pay for one campsite down there, which I'm not doing again. I don't want to hear generators running, people partying, this and this and that. I want to get away, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm I'm learning. It's, uh, I've watched I watch too much YouTube. So at this point, I got to take all this information that's been fed to me, or that I've taken in, and it's all good. I just got to sort out what works for me. And the one thing that I'm not going to go short on again is water. I have been short on water, and it's not a good thing. Now, I've actually been dehydrated on the road before, and it was a bad thing. But everything else I think I can live without. I will use my riding gear as padding. The only pad I'm taking with me is this, this pad I got now. I'm not going to carry a big old foam mattress or uh, an air inflatable mattress or expandable foam mattress. That's weight. Canceled. Gone. Uh I may even take my, my highway pegs off to save weight. If it saves a half a pound, it's a half a pound. It all adds up. Right now, I have a, a, a Versus aftermarket. It's called a Versus low seat. Really like it. I have a uh, Corbin seat. The Corbin seat is heavy. Very heavy. It probably weighs six, seven to eight pounds. I've not weighed it. I'm going to. If... The Corbin seat may go. I will sacrifice my comfort for the weight. That's what it means to me. The weight is everything. I want to be stealthy. I want to get into the places I want to go. And I don't want this thing wearing me out. I'm physically not what I should be for my age. I'm 52 years old. I think I could do a lot better. But my love of riding and venture, I'm trying to get more healthier. I'm actually, I've cut back on the bad things I do. I love my beer. I love my beer. But my love of riding will outweigh this beer. If this beer is my problem, it will be cut out. I've lost quite a bit of weight here this summer. I've probably lost 35 pounds, 30 pounds. And I've thinned down. I've kept it off just by just watching what I eat. But physically, I should be in a gym working out because this is my love. This is what gives me relief. This is what gives me the happiness, you know, other than the family, what I want to do. You know, my kids and grandkids is everything to me, but, you know, we're human. We need to do things that we love to do. And this is my getaway. This is my magic carpet. And with my magic carpet, it all ain't magic. Everything comes with the consequences. You get three wishes. And my fourth wish would be to get rid of more weight. If this bike weighed 200 pounds, would be one of my wishes. But it don't. This bike raw with the boxes on it empty in the top box, I was going to ship this out west last year. It weighed 580 pounds. That's too much. Too much for me. And I'm, I'm speaking from a novice. I'm not. And there's people that's pushed their bike backwards more than I've ridden. But I've ridden a lot. You know, I've got, I, I, I've got, I've, I've got some trail scars on me. I've ridden a lot. I've did three. I've did, attempted four iron butts this year. I've completed three with a third. Um. Uh, with the fourth, I didn't make it, but I got one sanction, and I've did three more this season. Three iron butts in one year. The fourth, I just didn't make it. It's when I was coming back from Sturgis. And once again, I just want to share with everybody what I'm doing. Anybody would like to comment on it, please. The criticism's good. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I know weight is bad. Weight's not good. Uh, whether, whether you ride a Harley or a big BMW, that's fine. If it physically fits you and you're able to uh, manhandle that weight around, that's great. I can't. So weight is everything. Like I said, I've cut my, even my batteries are reduced. My toothbrush is cut in half, my mobile toothbrush. My everything from my uh, soap to, to toiletries, everything is cut in half. I'm going to do my best to try to make myself more mobile. And my plan is, uh, you know, vacation or low, Vacation days are, are, 
are very slim right now, but I plan on riding up into D December and January. You know, if I can, every chance I get on this thing, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride. I may start hot, or a hot tent it. Get me a tent with a little wood stove in it. We don't know what the future holds. I'm just speculating. And dreaming's good. You take a man's dream away, he loses hope. I may not hot tent. I may not ride this December and January. But it's nice to look forward to and think you're going to do it. So everybody out there that's watching these videos of mine, please be safe. And we have a beautiful fall riding season coming up. I got uh, two trips coming up. I'm going to be riding to uh, Hickory, North Carolina. And uh, I'll be going to the Blue Ridge Parkway, riding a complete parkway out. And I will be living off this bike. And I will not go into a hotel. If I got to wind up shivering under a lean-to somewhere, soaking wet, begging for mercy, I am not getting a hotel. That's just me. I'm not doing it. I don't want to. Maybe I'll learn a valuable lesson. You know, talk's big. Actions are cheap. I may be in a hotel. If I do, I'll tell you the truth that I did. But as of right now, I just want to travel, stealth camp, uh, been watching uh, or been doing a lot of studying on uh, freecamping.net. Uh, the Washington Jefferson National Forest in Virginia area is where I'm going to be staying. Uh, there's a lot of areas, uh, public lands off the parkway in uh, North Carolina. I have my sites mapped out, everything downloaded in the GPS. So wish me luck and I wish everybody else the best of luck. Get out there, ride, enjoy this beautiful fall season we have coming up. And once again, I hope everybody has a safe and enjoyable riding fall. Thank you from Ohio Backroads.